the Tower of Camaras in the Hall of the Ambassadors, it's reported that Charles V, the new Christian monarch, when he came into the Muslim-built Alhamra, he looked out of the window and he said, how unfortunate the soul who lost all of this. How unfortunate the soul who lost all of this. We are reminded, of course, in the Quran about people who did lose. Qarun had a lot, but uh, he lost all of it. And the, and the man who had the two gardens in Tut al-Kahf, Allah says, Strike for them the example of the man who had the two gardens. And he believed that that became a symbol of power for him. He said to his friend, uh, I have more money than you, and I therefore have a greater following than you. This led him to disbelieve in Allah. He says, أَظُنُّ أَن تَبِيدَ هَذِهِ أَبَدًا what a, what a tragedy to think like that. مَا أَظُنُّ أَن تَبِيدَ هَذِهِ أَبَدًا I don't think this would ever leave me. What a tragedy. The Medina Zahra lasted how long? 80 years. And all that work and all that sophistication, all that effort, 80 years. And it seems quite true for Al-Hamra. All that work, all that sophistication, and it was lost soon enough. The point is that it's beautiful, but it went into someone else's hands. And so being here, therefore, in the Tower of Kamara's, all of the ambassadors, Charles V looked out of the window and said how misfortunate the soul who once had this and then lost all of it. And we seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we, we marvel at the amazing presence of the Muslims here in Al-Andalus and in Granada specifically. But we also feel very saddened, very, very saddened that what was once was is no longer anymore. And we just say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raju'un. From Allah we came and to Allah we returned.